Hey, what is going on guys? I do hope you all are doing well today. Elliot here, welcome back to The Fragrance Well. For today's video, we are going to be focusing on a specific style of fragrances. I'm gonna call it spicy and woody fragrances. Are you guys fans of fragrances that are spicy and woody? I already know you are. Very popular style of fragrance uh, in the community and outside of it. It's just something that makes a really good fragrance, especially for this time of year rolling into the autumn season. So I have got 10 fragrances here that all have spicy and woody qualities to them. There are a few of them where you would say that's probably the main two characteristics of the fragrance. And then there are some that have other main characteristics, but the spices and the woodiness of the fragrance still come across very noticeable. They're not something that's like way in the background. And the great thing about spicy and woody fragrances is they can come in a wide variety of styles, a wide variety of presentations, which is great because otherwise it would be a pretty boring type of fragrance. And all 10 of these I've got here, none of them smell alike. They all have their own way of presenting spicy and woodiness in fragrance form. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get right into it. But before we do, as always, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you do like the content, and please hit that bell icon and enable notifications so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Let's get into it. All right, the first one is gonna be coming from Jazada. This is going to be Ambassador Intense. Jazada, Ambassador Intense. Now this one here, I would definitely classify as spicy and woody first and foremost. You do have some other elements to the scent, but spicy and woody first. Spice profile, uh, I would say it is somewhat similar to like Sauvage Elixir. That's kind of the first thing that pops into my head, but maybe not as brash as that is, but uh, it's a collection of spices. So think like that cinnamon, nutmeg, pepper kind of spice combination that is synonymous with Sauvage Elixir. This one kind of shares that, but not quite. There's also some fruitiness to this. There is some uh, really light florals, some kind of rose and maybe a combination of florals to this scent. Uh, and I already said fruity and a lot sweeter than Sauvage Elixir is, but there's also that woody element. Just think, you know, like the cedar kind of smell, uh, just collection of nice woodiness, if you will, for the woodiness of this fragrance. That's pretty much the makeup of it, but it is spicy and woody first and foremost. Those are the two things that definitely stick out the most about this scent to me. So once again, coming from Jazada, this is Ambassador Intense. All right, moving on to the next one. This one's coming from Frederick Mall, and this is gonna be Portrait of a Lady. Frederick Mall Portrait of a Lady. Now, if you're familiar with the scent, you know this is a rose fragrance, and that is correct. It is rose first and foremost, but it is a spicy rose fragrance with a woody base to it. And you can't deny it, you definitely pick those things up. Man, that stuff is powerful. Uh, so I'm not gonna go too much into what the rose smells like, but it's rose, but the spiciness in here, now there's a listed note of clove, uh, and I would say that does it smell like cloves outright 100%, eh, kind of, kind of, sort of. It's that kind of clove slash cumin kind of spice profile, but maybe not as sweaty as cumin can be. You know, sometimes people kind of associate that with BO. This doesn't have that quality, but it does have the aggressiveness of a cumin heavy scent, but clove makes sense. I think that's a good choice of a, a note breakdown spice, if you will. That's what's on a note breakdown. The woodiness of this, uh, heavy sandalwood, a lot of patchouli in this as well. And patchouli, while it is not inherently a wood or a woody smell, it does blend very nicely with woody, uh, other woody notes, if you will. And also it has, can have some earthiness to it and can kind of just really blend really well with other woods. So I don't mind mentioning, uh, uh, mentioning it as a, you know, a part of the woody nature of this fragrance. But man, this one, spicy and woody with like rose at the forefront. And there's no denying that very dry in terms of the woody nature of this. Once again, from Frederick Mall, this is Portrait of a Lady. All right, the next one is coming from Chris Collins. And this one is gonna be African Rooibos. Chris Collins, African Rooibos. So this one here, while it is a tea fragrance, I would also classify it as a spicy and woody fragrance. The tea almost has its own woody quality. If you've ever smelled a rooibos tea, which I do actually have some in my pantry, it is uh, very woody in nature in terms of like the, 
I don't know, the, just the overall bulk of it. And also it has kind of this slight fruity characteristic to it, but I'm just talking about how the leaves smell. I'm not saying that's how it tastes, uh, but it does have a very woody quality to it, a very dry woody quality. And this one definitely, you could say it's got like a cedar wood woody quality to it and uh, quite a bit of a spicy quality to it as well. The spiciness of this, very peppery in nature. So think of uh, it as a spicy tea fragrance with woody qualities to it. That's basically what this is. And you know, when you think tea fragrances, most are associated with springtime scents, summertime scents, bright, vibrant, refreshing, calming. This one here is definitely a little bit more smoky in nature, smoky and woody, and uh, kind of works really well for this time of year. There are tea fragrances that you would say are more autumn style fragrances, and this is certainly one of them, and I, it's one of the best ones I've gotten my nose on so far. So once again, from Chris Collins, this one here is African Rooibos. All right, guys, the next one is coming from Roja Parfums. This is Danger. Roja Parfums, Danger, Parfum Pour Homme, and you know, there is a uh, Parfum Cologne, uh, I believe that's what it's called, of this as well, but I've got the Parfum. So this one here, uh, I, what I will say is the base of this fragrance is spicy and woody. Actually, you know what? You could classify it as a spicy and woody fragrance too, but definitely in a completely different way than the than the ones I've talked about so far. This one really opens up with lemony accords and has a pretty nice blast of like lavender in it. But there's just this kind of a chord of spices and woods that come together to just make the base and heart of this fragrance. If you look at the note breakdown of this fragrance, it's a Rosa fragrance. You're gonna see like 50 notes listed, but this one really just kind of comes together to create a spicy woody accord that's just very unique. Uh, you can get clove-like qualities to it. You can certainly get like blonde woods, dried woods qualities, maybe a little bit of a smoky, heavier, wood quality, other spices in here, but nothing really sticks out in terms of the spiciness and woodiness of this fragrance. It just has those qualities to it. Once again, coming from Roja Parfums, this is Danger Parfum Pour Homme. All right, guys, next one is coming from Lalique. This is Ombre Noir. Lalique Ombre Noir. Now, those who are familiar with this scent know what the spice profile is. It's pretty much cinnamon. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else listed in the note breakdown, but this one's very heavy on the cinnamon. There's also some cinnamon leaf, so a little bit more of a green edge to the cinnamon. Uh, with the spice profile of this, you can definitely think, uh, you know, particularly here in the States, think the holidays, think Christmas time, kind of carries that kind of uh, quality to it. Uh, as far as the woodiness goes, Definitely kind of a dry woodiness, but also kind of like this orchard and like wine barrel or whiskey barrel kind of woody nature to it. And the fragrance overall, definitely spicy and woody with a pretty clear boozy quality to it. I've described this fragrance almost like having like an apple cider in a barn kind of smell, but instead of apple cider, it's whiskey. That's kind of how I like to describe this scent. So that spicy and woodiness, kind of helps to make up that overall nature of this fragrance. Smells amazing, really great bang for the buck. Definitely a good holiday scent if you are into like fragrances that remind you of the holidays, but you can certainly use it for other things. Don't think I'm putting it into a box. Once again, from Lalique, this is Ombre Noir. All right guys, the next one is coming from Aqua de Parma and this is Quercia. Aqua de Parma Quercia. As you can see, this is the mega bottle. Funny story here, Joma Shop had a sale a couple of weeks ago. They had this in this size and the 100 mil, but for whatever reason, this one was less than 100 bucks, while the 100 mil was like 130. I'm like, well, I guess I'm getting me a big jumbo bottle of this stuff. I really didn't want a bottle this big, but it is what it is. Now, Quercia literally translates to oak, as in oak wood. Now, does this fragrance smell like oak? I have no idea. I don't know what oak inherently smells like. I am more familiar with oak in terms of uh, its cooking properties and or its sound properties because oak wood is sometimes used in instruments, including drums. As you guys know, I play drums. I don't own any oak wood drums, but I have played a few of them. They have a very particular sound to them. But in terms of the smell, I have no idea what oak smells like by itself. So something I should look into. Uh, but that being said, this fragrance is spicy and woody for sure. Does open with that kind of zingy, zesty uh, lemon that you can find in a lot of Aqua de Parma fragrances. Um, and also 
loads of cardamom in this, so that's part of the spice profile. Cardamom, there's also some pettigron, and there's some pink pepper as well. So it has the spiciness, it's very smooth and inviting spiciness to it, and it just has woody properties to it. I think there's cedarwood listed as a note, there's patchouli for sure in this. It's kinda just got that dried, somewhat slightly smoky, woody smell to it. Again, I don't know what oak would just on its own smells like, so I don't know if this fragrance is an accurate representation of oak, but you could just say it's a good imagining of it or an artistic form of it. Now, this is not an artsy fragrance. It's a spicy, woody fragrance that just has a different feel to it as some Aqua de Parma fragrances do. But this one I haven't heard talked about a lot, but I thoroughly enjoy this scent. I would say check this one out. This could be a sleeper from the house for some of you. So once again, from Aqua de Parma, this is Quartia. All right, guys, the next one is coming from Tom Ford. This is gonna be Tobacco Oud. Tom Ford Tobacco Oud. Now with this one here, it's a spicy woody fragrance, definitely. I don't think I would classify it as any other thing. Now there is a booziness to this, kind of a skankiness or a funkiness to it, and it's not like barnyard, it's just kind of got this edge to the fragrance but uh you definitely can pick up the spicy quality to this i would say it's just kind of a combination of spices or a spicy accord doesn't really come across as one thing to me it's not something i could really pick out it just somewhat slightly reminds me of the spice you might find in oud wood but maybe with a little bit more of an edge to it the woodiness of this uh you know there's an oud wood like quality to it but it's more of a just kind of a westernized uh exotic wood smell is what I would call it. And also this is a tobacco fragrance. Tobacco note is definitely present in here, kind of has a little bit of an ashiness to it, but I think they're using woods to kind of help accomplish that. So therefore, overall, this fragrance has a spicy and woody quality to it. Uh, and also, this one's not gonna be for everybody. Please don't blind buy this one if you wanna get your nose on it. I imagine there are places you can get samples of this. You know, this used to be really, really hard to find. It's not as hard to find anymore. I see it on a number of places readily in stock. It just does cost a little bit, even at a discounted rate. So that's probably why it doesn't sell out. But I would imagine you probably can get a sample of this. But really interesting, spicy, woody fragrance with a boozy quality and a little bit of a smoky tobacco smell. Once again, from Tom Ford, this is Tobacco Oud. All right, moving on. Next one is coming from Mind Games, and this is Scholar's Mate. Mind Games, Scholar's Mate. So this one here is, uh, let's just say this now, it is kind of a play on like a Santal 33 from Le Labo, but if I remember correctly, Santal 33 is does not really have a spice profile, where this one does. This one is very spicy, very smoky, uh, not really ashy, but very brash uh, compared to a Santal 33. Now, spice profile of this, listed note is pimento. Definitely has that kind of hot heat, uh, but somewhat still fresh kind of spice profile to it. That's what I find pimento to kind of behave as in fragrance form. And that's pretty much it for the spiciness. The spice is kind of accentuated with the dryness and the smokiness of the wood in here. There's some very smoky vetiver, very dry cedar and sandalwood combination. Now there is some uh, a note of fig milk to kind of balance those two things out. But when you first get your nose on the scent, that's what you're gonna be hit with automatically. So definitely behaves like a spicy and woody fragrance. Really good stuff from the House of Mind Games. Quality is impeccable for this scent. I know this is not the one people talk about a lot and it never is going to be, to be fair, compared to some of the other stuff they have. But this one really captivated me and if you really are a fan of spicy and woody fragrances, I'd say it's worth at least getting your nose on this one. Once again, from Mind Games, this is Scholar's Mate. All right, next one, coming from Zerjoff. This is Alexandria 2. Zerjoff, Alexandria 2. All right, so I know a lot of you guys are fans of this fragrance, so you know what the spice is in this one. Cinnamon, and what a great cinnamon it is. Blending with apple-like accords and lavender, giving it a slight, very slight take on that apple pie kind of spice profile, but not quite. I don't think anybody would call this one gourmand. As far as the woods go, I think there may be some cedar-like qualities to this. There are, uh, There is some oud in this. 
So more of an exotic wood kind of smell, very soft and luxurious woodiness, not brash at all with this. There's also some amber-like accords kind of smoothing this fragrance out. So complete 180 in terms of the woody nature uh, compared to the one I just talked about, Scholars Mate, the previous fragrance. This one is a very smooth woody fragrance and the spice profile also very, very smooth and pleasant, warm and inviting coming from that cinnamon. Once again, coming from Zerzhov, this is Alexandria 2. All right, and last but not least, this one is coming from Ormond Jane. It's gonna be Montebacco Intensivo. Ormond Jane Montebacco Intensivo. So this one, yes, it's a tobacco fragrance. Uh, it is quite fresh overall too. I think this is the, yeah, this one would be the freshest fragrance I have talked about on this video. However, it is spicy, it is woody, but in a very different way. So this one has more of kind of like a cooling, refreshing spice, if that makes sense. There is a cardamom nature in this. There might be some other spices, but there's a very airy, very ozonic accords going into this fragrance that kind of give it that lift, if you will, make it not so warm, not so dense. Uh, and in terms of the woodiness of this fragrance, a lot of isogamma super used into in this scent. And you know, isogamma super, is pretty much synonymous with like a cedar wood kind of smell. That's usually what we call it just to simplify it. Uh, so lots of that in here. And the tobacco in this, it's not heavy at all in terms of like it being ashy or smoky. It's a very clean and leafy tobacco. And that kind of gives way for that cedar wood like quality to be there. Now, while this fragrance does have an overall fresher quality, still definitely works very well for the autumn season. Does carry some weight to it, and that Isogamma Super just kind of gives this fragrance ridiculous longevity, if you will. So yes, a fresher fragrance overall, a little bit brighter, but still spicy and woody, and certainly can work for the autumn months. So once again, coming from Ormond Jane, this is Montebacco Intensivo. Okay guys, that is gonna do it for this video. That was 10 spicy and woody fragrances of different varieties. I know you guys are fans of spicy and woody fragrances, so let me know down in the comments below what are some of your favorite fragrances that feature spices and woods. Would be looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Thanks again for watching all the way until the end. I really do appreciate you guys. Please remember to be well and smell well, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a good one.